Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the first problem regarding the previous topic, state model analysis. So in that question is, find the state model for following differential equations. So he is given the differential equation. For that, he is asking to find out the he is asking to find out the state model. So you know that the state model simply y dot equal ax plus bu ax plus bu in the matrix form and next output equal the another equation equal y equal cx plus du. So you should write in this format then the state model analysis will be completed. So first here he given y triple dot always y triple dot is like this so we will write like this d square d square y by dt cube you, you can take and 2 y means d square y by dt square okay this is 4 dy by dt plus 6 into y is equal to u so whenever the problem is given like this so the maximum order what is the maximum order here maximum order is 3 so order of differential equations will give number of state variables will give the number of state variables so how many number of state variables available so this is the 3 is the order of differential equation therefore number of variables as 3 so assume that so we should assume that 3 variables are 3 state variables are so we should take some variables x1 x2 x3 these are the 3 variables so we should maintain the relation between these 3 variables first you should take the first variable take it as y equal to x1 y equal to x1 so assume this is the first equation and the second variable you, you should take y dot equal to x2 and so third equal to y double dot equal to x3 and last one equal to y triple dot y triple dot equal to x3 y triple dot equal to x4 so you should have only three variables y equal to x1 and y2 equal to x2 is there okay we should convert this just take it here then look at here what is y dot so can we modify we will write like this in place of y dot i will write i will write x1 x1 dot equal to x2 so take it as a second equation then what about y double dot is nothing but we can replace y double dot with x1 dot so we can write so y dot is finally having y dot is nothing but x2 here just i am replacing in place of y dot x2 it have x2 dot we'll get x3 we'll get x3 and this is the third equation this is the third equation what about fourth equation y triple dot y triple dot equal we will directly take it this is the x3 dot okay this is the fourth equation the first equation is gives relation between y and x1 the second relation will give x1 differentiation of x1 with, re with respect to x2 the third equation is differentiation of x2 uh, in the form of x3 the fourth equation is y has three degree differentiation that will x3 dot so by using that we will modify the equation is like that we will modify this equation what is the equation there so it will be again once again you write the the given differential equation the given differential equation y triple dot equal 2y double dot plus 4y dot plus 6y is equals to u just what is y triple dot look at here y triple dot equal we can write x3 dot so write it this is the x3 dot 2 so what is y double dot look at here 
y double dot can be replaced by the directly x3 so this is the x3 so I am replacing this is the x3 and what about for y dot y dot look at here here I am replacing y dot with x2 so y dot is the x2 and what about 62 what is y so y can be here the y is there that is replaced by the x1 just replace it with the x1 okay that will gives the that will give the u so you should write equation equal to x3 dot form so i will write the x3 dot equal to, so it will be converted like this first write x1 go to outside it will become minus 6x1 when 4x2 go to outside it will become minus 4x2 this will go outside it will become minus 2x3 plus u is equals to is equal this will give some equation that equation assume as fifth equation okay so take it as the fifth equation already we are finding the x3 dot value and we have some relations you know that x1 dot is x2 is one relation and again x2 dot is x3 is another relation okay and we know the x3 dot relation this is the one relation this is the other relation okay now x3 dot equal this is the relation okay now by using this x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot all three relations we will make a a way a state differential equation that is so I will write like this x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot and so only three differential equations so this is the vector differential state differential vector okay so we have three variables 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 these three variables with respect to three state variables what are the three state variables x1 x2 x3 these are the three state variables okay this is 3 into 1 3 are the rows one is the column and this is generally the 3 by 3 matrix okay and next is 3 into 1 and we can write we can now we can replace what is x1 x1 dot equaled we can write only we have the x2 that's why this is the 0 this is 1 and this is the 0 then you will get x1 dot equaled 1 into x1 so x1 dot equation is completed so this equation is over what about x2 dot x2 dot is having only x3 variable there is no x1 variable there is no x2 variable so that's why x1 related and x2 related 0 substitute this is the 1 so what about x3 dot look at here x3 dot so here x3 dot also having some matrix some input matrix with with in this form u1 u2 u3 we have three inputs so x3 input you should take you should assume as this is the u3 input okay so for this right so for x3 dot x1 is minus 6 so x3 dot equal minus 6 x1 so for x2 it is minus 4 so this is minus 4 x2 for x3 it is minus 2 so minus 2 x3 this is the minus 2 x3 and what about u1 x1 dot doesn't have u1 doesn't have any input matrix and x2 doesn't have any input matrix but x3 it has the input matrix 1 the input matrix 1 next what about what about another thing so finally we have in this form x dot equal ax plus bu ax plus bu so this is represents x dot this is represent a this is the x and this is the b this is the u and what about another thing the another another thing you should write the output waveform y equal to cx plus du cx plus du but you know that the output is only one thing that is the output look at here 
we are taking e from equation 1 so from equation 1 so you you have the only one thing that is y equal to only x1 so I will write like this so output equation simply output y equal to we have only x1 term and we have 3 x1 and x2 and x3 three variables so y is have only x1 x2 is 0 x3 is 0 that's why 1 0 0 and we doesn't have any transition matrix so I will write here no transition matrix no transition matrix okay no transition matrix so this is the this is writing x dot in the form of ax plus bu so by using the differential equation we should make a relation between x1 dot and x1 x2 dot and x2 x3 dot and x3 and y equal x1 then you will get these two equations okay so for the equation we will write shortcut method also directly we will write the shortcut method so we will discuss shortcut method it is useful in the competitive exams so how we will write the shortcut method first write down given differential equation this is y triple dot and 2y dot and next 4y dot plus 6y is equals to u okay from this just you write a state transition matrix how to write the a first simple thing put 0 1 0 0 0 1 so these are fixed values if the three state variables are there these are the fixed values and what about remaining look at here you have to write like this just 6 is there replace minus 6 just 4 is there replace minus 4 just 2 is there replace minus 2 okay so in this direction you should go in this direction then you will get minus 6 minus 4 minus 2 and it will give the 3 by 3 matrix okay and what about B B is we have only y equal to x1 directly you know that so that is b value is 0 0 1 that is 3 by 1 0 0 1 that is 3 by 1 what about c c is b transpose that will be reverse one is become first another will become two then then it will become one into three then it will become 1 into 3 so directly we will get state transition matrix a b c okay so this is about by giving the any differential equation we will write the state model okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you